Hey, what's up guys? Javier from That Racing Channel. We have a super, super special episode for you today. So the TRC team was on its way to film some crazy jet ski racing and we just had to stop and see our boy Alan. Alan has one of the fastest street GTRs in the world. He's gone 60 to 130 in 2.55 seconds. It's absolutely insane. Let's take a look, guys. So when we were driving up with the team, pretty sure we, we found it, guys. What do you what do you think? I mean, I <laughs> I'm staying here either way, so. <laughs> all the GTRs, all the GTRs you could want. Look at that tire, man. What's going on, dude? Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for having us. Likewise. What's up, bro? What's going on? How are bro? you, man? So this is the one we came to see, and you gave us a little bonus with another extra. So we're gonna give you guys a peek at this one first. So this car makes what? 2200 ish? 2200. 2200. It's so funny how these days we just nonchalant throw out like, eh, 2200 horsepower and a <laughs> full weight street car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Last time we saw this thing was on the racetrack at GTR World Cup. How fast has this thing been? 7.7? Seven, 7.7 seven. Seven, seven at? At 191. 191. That is getting it, man. Got the stock seats in it. Interior looks bone stock outside of this little roll bar here, little roll cage. Still smells brand new. <laughs> oh, you got a thousand miles. Thousand miles. Yeah. That makes 2200 horsepower. You gotta love it. Look at that tire. Needs to say, it does need it. Two five five pass sixty to one hundred and thirty. Was that was that all of it, or, or is just no. it's limited for the street as well? No, that that was just we didn't even go out to do that. We just went out trying to test how draggy works, and I turned it up to uh, map seven out of nine. Wow! And that's what it did. So a couple more clicks left, mm -hmm. and it didn't seem like any drama either. So it, it, no. it hooked and booked. Yeah. Awesome, man. Let's go ahead and fire it up and check it out. Got that one ethanol on tap right here. The good stuff. <laughs> Alright, so this was a special treat for us. You know, we took it out with the setup to the track. It just runs 8-2 off the trailer. Just like clockwork, I imagine. Yeah, Consistent, huh? No dialing in, no nothing. Straight from <laughs> tuning to the track. That's what I'm talking about, man. Mm -hmm. We didn't so, even get to dial the car in. Awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited to go for a spin on these things. Let's go ahead and fire up and check this one out. Carbon seats in here. I gotta put it on the ball. Then it'll be silent. That's I'll awesome. just say it's a full bolt on. 
we're gonna take a leisurely stroll in these, all right, what, about 4,000 horsepower worth of GTRs. And we're gonna go check out uh, a sick area that Alan was telling us about. This thing is just as loud and uh, the interior is a little bit a little bit more aggressive we got the carbon seats these things probably weigh a lot less than the factory yeah oh yeah factory's like i think i remember like 70 80 pounds something like that yeah Those big old comfy seats. seats these seats are six pounds each Jeez. that's a big difference bus lengths yeah <laughs> so that's that's the one thing you really gotta love about the gtr platform is these cars from the outside outside of the drag package i mean you're talking it looks bone stock but this thing is making a ridiculous amount of horsepower when you think about it it's our our buddy nick put it in a good way he said earlier when we walked up and he said this thing makes you know that other one made 2200 this one makes 16 1700 the fastest car he's ever been in made i think like 1200 so the other car has a thousand more horsepower than anything he's ever been in and that was absolutely mind-blowing experience for him <laughs> so it just goes to show which was also a gtr so it just goes to show how really amazing this platform has grown man it's 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 something just just wild a lot of cars can put down 1700 2000 horsepower on the track but on the street not, not many platforms can do it on an asphalt or just concrete highway or whatever it is you know so it's it's uh these things get down yeah, they get down. It's just the perfect combination with weight, all-wheel drive system. It's just a perfect combination. The car all around is perfect.
are stupid fast. And it's so surprising. It's been it's been a long time since I've ridden something this stupid, this ridiculous. Jesus, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean. Thank you. Perfect street <laughs> car. Little, little street car, that's it. Dog. Little baby 58 millimeter turbos. That's it. You know, doing a little bit of damage on the street. Probably a little bit of damage in uh, the track. I mean, we had we have the AC blast in here still. Yeah. Like, temperatures are perfect. Yeah. I mean, this thing nice. doesn't skip a beat. And it's crazy, just the traction. The way this thing just absolutely sticks you to the seat. You weren't even on like a rolling anti lag or anything. You I just, don't do roll. Dude, I don't do you just roll into it and it's instant power. I don't need it. My man, I'm gonna say this thing gets a huge TRC approved stamp. Little street car. Little street. Honestly, bro, this car. thing on the street, <laughs> I would put this up against whatever other platform. That's it. You're gonna have a lot of trouble with one of these freaking GTRs, man. Hi guys, my name is Alan Arias. I'm the owner of this 2017 Nissan GTR. It was built a few years by T1 at Texas. Tony Palo tunes it on Moltec. The car was built for somebody else who didn't use it. He built it, made a ton of power, never drove the car. I ended up buying the car from him. The car makes 2200 horsepower, has a 4.3 liter billet block with a ETS Pro 2300 turbo kit on it. Uh, so twin 76s, I believe. It has a Shep Stage 5. At GTR World Cup, the car ran 7.7 7 at 191. Uh, that was what a bad 60 for the car's full weight weighs 4100 pounds with me inside it's a very heavy car apparently it broke the street ever recorded record from 60 to 130 it did it in 2.55 seconds <laughs> Currently still holding it. A few people try it, but haven't been successful at it. A friend of mine made a list on Facebook. Uh, as a, uh, they call it Draggy Talk. Uh, Stuart from T1 actually, you know, suggested that I get one. A friend of mine, Buzz, worked very well known in the GTL community for liking everything in green. He tells me he's gonna send me a Draggy so I could do a log of my car on it because the car was built to be the ultimate street car. So everybody was interested to see what the car does. I get the draggy. I'm actually tuning the car. I, Tony from T1 changed software updates on the Motec. So he's having me go to the street and do some logs to see what the car does. At the same time, I, I get the draggy. My cousin Charlie, he tells me, you know, let's take the car out somewhere where we can actually make a pass on it. I wasn't trying. I just wanted to see how the draggy works. And I'm also pulling some logs to send to Tony. Once we made the pass, which was actually the first good pass on the draggy the car gets a 255 my cousin is freaking out you know he's saying 255 i'm happy because i just i'm happy that the car worked out you know made it in the twos which is to me was a very big thing never that i think it was the fastest ever recorded on the street so i woke up to that next day everybody just freaking out i'm getting you know texas and calls from every everywhere bugging out and uh it's a pretty cool feeling in the dyno it made 2176. I want to say it's 55 pounds of boost. Mm -hmm. On the street, I should be somewhere hitting about 50 pounds of boost when I made that pass. But the car at the track, actually, in uh, when I run 77, the car made 58 pounds of boost. I believe it actually has room to grow, but we haven't pushed its limits yet. Hopefully so. <laughs> the car, it's pretty much body-wise, is full stock. Uh, nothing has been shredded weight on it. I mentioned, yeah, the car is 41, to be specific, 4120 with me inside. The car is on full stock suspensions with uh, KW sleeves, actually lower it a bit. The wheels, it has uh, TSM uh, billet specialty wheels, 15 inches in the back and 18 inches in the front uh, with a drag radial on it the Mickey Thompson uh, Street Radio Pros. This setup, I 
consider it to be the street version of George Dosworth car. So I don't know, most of you guys probably know that car. It uh, has a billet block, it has gone sixes. His first car in the sixes was stock location turbo, which is magnificent. Yeah, he has the same 4.3 billet block engine on 76 is also what I think a bigger back housing and drag version. So this is the street version, full weight. There's a handful of cars that I believe to have the same engine, which is you guys have seen the Alpha Logic, which is the fastest GT on the world in Dubai. Uh, I believe he has that same engine the T1 uh, race car, the shop car, George Dosworth, and me. Fuel system, it has the AMS. This is actually where everybody still kind of in a shock about it. Most people that made this kind of power, they're all running either mechanical fuel pumps or they doing crazy things to the fuel. I'm still in a brushless twin setup from AMS. Yeah, it's a very basic fuel system. I'm running 12 injectors with a Boost Logic 12 injector intake manifold. I'm running 12 ID 1700X injectors on it. In the cooler, it has a AMS Alpha X, Race X, I believe it's called. It's a big intake in the cooler. All the piping and flanges on it was built by, well, it was fabricated by Wade uh, as a fabricator T1. Amazing work. It runs on E98 and also to go on full race version for race mode to have full power i mix with either c16 or vpn port with e98 so it's a 50 50 mix what makes this car special to me is be, uh probably that i'm an all-around guy i like to drag race i like to roll i like to occasionally drive it usually there's not a car that you can have the best of every world in it I driven this car to my buddy's track, Bradenton, uh, to Victor, Victor Alvarez track in Bradenton, ran sevens, drove the car back home. Next day, turned the car on, broke the street record with a 255, drove it back home. And the following day, put my stock seats back on and take my kids for a ride and go get ice cream. Not sure it was the last 2000 or even closer street car that you could do combination of even some of those options that I do with this car. So yeah, T1, they built, to me, the best streak on the world. And I actually, I built cars and this is this is on a different level. This is not, not close to anything I've driven before. My cousin Charlie, he kind of dragged me back into it because uh, he loves, he loves these cars. He's, he's been with me since years back. I used to go to events in Texas. He used to just go to cheer me up and you know, pretty much pulled me back into the cars. He's one of those that, he never liked the idea of sending anybody the car to build it. He He's one of those guys that wants to like, hey, let's build it from ground up ourselves. He was actually, you know, a bit upset with me that uh, my car, we didn't build it, but we had the ability to, we just did it with mine. His, on the other hand, we actually did everything from ground up. We bought the car a while back and then he just decided to change everything. The car we built it, uh, we did a 3.8 with a billet crank on it, uh, billet crank, billet girdle, with a Boost Logic True 58X kit. It's a small turbo, but packs a nice punch. Has a Boost Logic 12 injector manifold with 12 ID 1700X injectors also, with AMS brushless twin pumps in it. The car makes just under 1700 horsepower. Recently, you know, we just got the car done. It's tuned by Felix Medina in New Jersey. We took it to the track first time with the new setup and it ran off the trailer ran 8.2 really impressive for his first time out i'm pretty sure that you know with a little bit of dialing in and more seat time we could get the car into the sevens with it when the car was on the dyno we, we only went up to 40 pounds of boost um when we took it to the track felix decided to bump it up another 10 psi so 50 psi that's where the car got fun yeah the car just stood there versus the car you know goes on the street occasionally also just like me it could be a daily driver the car could go anywhere but the car never comes down for 50 pounds of boost even when it spins kind of like when we took it to the street spins everywhere but stays at 50 pounds where it's nice and fun transmission it has a chef stage four it has a ets ultimate race intercooler i believe that's a four and a half inch intercooler with a, a ets intercooler piping kit also it's also on on uh, has a my favorite drag wheels is a uh, Belac. That's a Belac B lock wheels, 15 inches in the back, 18 inches on the front, uh, B lock all around. Anybody who knows me knows I've, uh, I've been using those wheels for years since back in my Supra days. Cars on the Motec, full stock suspension, stock springs, everything. Nothing's been touching that. Dude, thank you so much for taking me for a spin. Anytime.
time. That one, that one got the blood pumping, I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, we gotta <laughs> go to the Dominican the... Republic. I gotta take you to Dominican Republic that... so you can see what I put together. Oh, absolutely, there. man. That one got the adrenaline pumping. I won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> All right, guys. TRC signing out. Dude, these things are stupid fast.